Okay, so we are getting going, getting started. So, he hello, Doreen. <laughs> so let's all get our bodies organized. Mm -hmm. And um, so making sure if you, if you can, if you can feel your feet, don't look down, just make sure that they're organized. Um, so that they are in, in parallel and your toes are even and square. If you can't feel your feet, then let's go ahead and look down and make sure that they are just that. Um, and then take a look at our, our legs, our thigh, our knees, where our knees um, come, are, are our knees even, right? Keep, we wanna, and that kind of indicates our pelvic um, if our pelvis is off or cattywampus sometimes. So I'm gonna just maybe bring that down so we can see a little bit more lower body. Um, and you can even um, take your hands to your hips and in your screen, just take a look, are my hips, do my hip bones seem even? So for me, when I look my, my left one seems a little high. So I'm gonna just lift up and kind of try and get that down, kind of wiggle around so that it's down a little lower. It kind of is one of those ones. So thinking about just everything is pretty squared up, aligning our body, our ribs, our shoulders are even and on top of our ribs and then reaching long out the crown of the head as if someone's kind of, kind of pulling our hot, like we have a high ponytail being pulled back and up. Okay, so we're just getting that kind of relaxed alignment. And let's take a few breaths now. So directing our inhale breath, actually, let's just take some easy breaths. Um, just nice, mindful inhaling and feeling, um, noticing where that inhale breath goes in your body. And then exhaling everything out without forcing it out. And maybe just think of this head to tail lengthening. So head to the sky, tail to the earth, connecting the earth and the sky. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and just take a few breaths. See if we can direct the breath down into our feet, okay? So if you can't feel your feet, it takes a little more imagination, but just inhale, imagine the feet are kind of spreading apart and then exhale, really feel the surface of your shoe or feel the surface of the floor or foot plate you're on. So inhale, spread the toes, exhale, feel the foot connect to the earth. Inhale, spread the toes and exhale, feel the foot connect to the earth. Nice. And then next, let's go ahead, just take our hands just to give a little energy in through our thighs. We're just gonna inhale and then exhale, just nice long strokes, um, pressing through the thighs, ending up at the knee. And if you need to kind of lean forward, that's fine. Just giving a little, kind of creating a little energy in the lower body. And nice. And then we're gonna go ahead, bring our attention to our pelvis. And again, coming back to the breath. So let's inhale and see if we can just imagine that pelvic bowl. So we're just gonna think in terms of the pelvis. Um, and the, the rim of the bowl is the top of our hips here. So we're gonna inhale, feel the pelvis fill with bowl as if you're filling a bowl with water, right? The water goes all throughout the bowl. And then exhale, feel the base of the bowl, your sit bones become heavy. It's a bowl with a really tiny base. You can even think of it as a bowl with two little bases. I don't know if you've seen some of those um, fun little bowls from Mexico that have those tiny little, little legs on them. So inhaling 
and exhale, heavy base. Inhale, filling up the bowl, creating energy in there with the breath, and then exhale, base of the bowl is connected. Now let's move our uh, attention up to the belly and the low back. If you want, you can put your hand back there behind on the low back, or you can have your hands just resting here or none of the above. So we're gonna inhale and kind of notice the belly and um, rise. And as you exhale, it may fall. Um, you can also think about as we inhale, widen the low back, right? And exhale, think about lengthening the low back. So inhale and then exhale. Just feeling that nice creating space in the body with the breath. And great. And then we're going to move up into the rib cage area. So the ribs, maybe all the way up to underneath the armpits um, and even kind of coming out of the breastbone, the sternum here. We're going to inhale. Three, think about the breath really three-dimensionally, the, the lungs expanding, the ribs expanding, and then exhale, the ribs draw together, the lungs deflate. So really feel this inflation of the lungs and the ribs, and then exhale, things deflate, okay? Just kind of using my hands to give you that, that visual of what they might be doing. So inhale, And exhale. And I'm gonna um, actually, well, let's now bring the breath now as if you're gonna bring it underneath the collarbones. So see if you can really, you can even take your hands and um, kind of from the sternum, inhale and almost spread the collarbones apart a little bit with the thumb and the fingertips there. Inhale, open that up. And then exhale, maybe just think about softening the shoulders back. So inhale, bringing breath underneath those collarbones where a lot of us kind of get stiff and conglomerated. I must, all, maybe I should just say I do. <laughs> and maybe you guys do too, but I get, I feel some um, congestion and tightness underneath there. So breathing and bringing some attention to that area and feeling how those collarbones, imagine them kind of just like, imagine them really soft and they're, they're stretching out to the ends of your shoulders there. So inhale, open up that chest and exhale, soften the shoulder blades down. And next, we're gonna go ahead and bring the breath into the back of the neck and kind of up through the head. So we're gonna inhale, widen across the neck as we do just a little bit of a head nod. Um, okay, bringing the head back on top of the spine. So inhaling and then exhale, kind of release and inhale. Head on back, of the on back of the spine and widen across that back of the neck. What does that feel like? And exhale, release. And I know I see a couple of people yawning and out there. And I think working with the breath many times can make us yawn. So I am not going to take that as an insult. <laughs> I know you're not bored. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, maybe you're tired. All right, so inhale now lengthening the crown of the head to the ceiling. And let's keep that nice long, long, um, long spine from head to tail. And we're gonna do a little bit more breath, um, three part breathing into kind of the, the low back. And then we'll pause and then breathe a little bit more into the rib cage. And then a little bit more underneath the collarbones really almost like you're gonna sip that last bit of air in, and then we'll exhale, um, kind of allow the chest to 
kind of deflate and then the ribs and then the belly button to spine. Okay, we'll do maybe three rounds of that, two or three rounds. So it's inhale, low back, pause, inhale into the rib cage, pause, hold the breath, inhale a little bit more underneath the collarbones. Now exhale, just deflate the chest, kind of soften the chest back, pause, ex and exhale a little more, the rib cage, drawing the ribs together. And then the last bit, belly button to spine. Squeezing every last bit of air out and the lungs come together and the lungs deflate. And take a normal breath or two and we'll do that again. And so as we're um, being cognitive, remembering that as we're um, doing the inhale and the exhale, we're parsing it out. We're, we're not, um, we're breathing, we're not um, exhaling before we take that next in that third inhale, right? So inhale one and then ribs and then underneath the collarbones. Sip. And now exhale, chest softens. Exhale from the ribs. Maybe think about the ribs drawing together. Now exhale, belly button to spine. All the air out, ribs draw together even more. And nice. So I'm hoping that you kind of start to feel as you get that last bit of exhale, you start to feel like you're lengthening the spine with the exhale. I'm curious, um, just you can give me a thumbs up if, if any of you get are getting that sensation or if that doesn't make sense to you when I say that. Good, good, couple thumbs up, good, okay. All right, so let's do one more breath then and see if we can get everyone really feeling this sense of length as we exhale. So inhale um, into the belly and the ribs and underneath the collarbones and now exhaling from the chest the rib cage, the lungs, and belly button, the spine, crown of the head reaching to the sky. Okay, good. Well, I hope a few more of you kind of got that. Let's just now just come and um, keeping this nice long spine. We'll do some shoulders up, back and down, little shoulder rolls up and back and down, up. And back and down. Let's do like eight or so more of those. Feels good. Feeling the shoulders kind of rise up towards the ears and then back along the back. Feeling the chest open and the back muscles open. Let's do one at a time. So you can kind of let the arm move in reaction to the shoulder. Feel the shoulder moving the arm. Yeah. And moving that shoulder blade up and back and around, up and back and around. And now let's go um, one shoulder at a time, rolling it forward. So you're gonna come up and around trying to face this outer edge of your arm towards me and then bring it back. Let's do the same. Let's actually do all, um, let's do six on one arm. Okay, so we won't alternate here. And then we'll go over to the other arm. So let's do five more. Kind of opens up the shoulder blades. Um, wide as we bring that shoulder forward. Open up that shoulder away from the spine. And nice, last one and good. And then we'll do that on the other side. So lifting up and around and bringing it back and up and around. Yes, show me that outside of the arm, up 
and around. I'm bringing it back. You guys are good. Up and around. And back. Let's do two more of those. Up and just noticing how it's a different movement than really focusing on rolling them back. Nice. Okay. Kind of bring those shoulders back to um to center and now just kind of finding that shoulders again on the back really feel i my hands are my shoulder blades right i always use my hands as my shoulder blades and um your rib cage is right in front of the palm so really feel the hands flat as flat as you can across a, against the rib cage and and we're going to keep and um, we'll do a few little neck stretches so let's um let's inhale grow tall and then look over the left shoulder as far as you can look as far as you can and then back to center and make sure you find that little bit of a head nod and then turn and look over the other shoulder as far as you can eyeballs eyeballs pulling around really feeling the the side of the neck, maybe even the chest and back to center, keeping your chest. So as we do these little neck stretches, I'm gonna ask you to try and keep your shoulders square, but um, neck rotates, right? So don't let that opposite shoulder go along for the ride. So again, we'll look over your left shoulder, keep your right shoulder blade back, keep wide across the, the collarbones there. Now eyeballs are really gonna strain to look as far as they can. Keep our head turned here, but bring your eyeballs forward and look around to the other direction. And then bring your eyeballs back over that shoulder. And then eyeballs come forward to bring the head forward. Okay, put a little eye exercises in there. So we'll look over the right shoulder now. Eyeballs working hard, keeping that left shoulder now on the, keeping that left shoulder blade back, left arm bone um, back, straining to look over that right shoulder. Keep your head turned and strain your eyeballs to come around and look as far as they can front and left. And then eyeballs are gonna look over that left shoulder again. Maybe you'll get a little more rotation. And then, Eyes come forward, head comes forward. Nice. All right, let's look up. And then we'll look down towards, kind of down towards your cheekbones and towards your lap. Again, we'll look up and down towards the cheekbones. This time I'm gonna have you, let's jut our chin out when we look up. So we're gonna jut our chin out like this. Right, so we're gonna look up, jut our chin out, and then open and close our mouth. So we're kind of stretching these neck muscles and maybe even into the chest. Feels kind of, I think it feels great. You're just moving, I feel like you're almost moving the skin. Go ahead and look forward and great. All right, let's go ahead and um, just go into some shoulder movement here now. So shoulders are up, back and down and arms or um, palms of the hands are gonna be um, opened up towards the sky. Let's inhale up towards a V, make a beautiful V shape and then exhale, press down. Inhale and exhale, press down and Think about, I think I talked about this last time, doing this with enthusiasm. So inhale and exhale, press down all the air out. It's just like, so it's a great day. You're like excited and exhale, press down. I love it, good. Inhale, exhale, press down. So it really, it changes the movement when we have some joy in it. And down, let's pulse the breath now and do the same thing. So we're gonna inhale halfway up and then inhale the other half up, exhale half of our capacity, exhale all the air out. So it's,
You can still have joy. You can still have enthusiasm. One more. Nice. This last, this next one, let's bring the arms all the way together. Clap the hands. Good. And then press down. All the way together. Clap the hands. And press down. And one more like that. All the way together. Clap the hands together. And press down. Nice job. Okay, let's bring um. Let's bring the left arm up. So reach the left. Um, sorry, I'm not mirroring you guys. I should have done that. Okay, so reach the left fingertips to the sky and feel the left, the right fingertips towards the, the floor and just reach, reach, reach. And then we'll press that hand down. Now let's reach the other arm up reach those fingertips to the sky and then lengthen the, the other fingertips, the left fingertips towards the ground. Feel that nice. And then we're gonna switch. Yeah, and switch. So really find that reach at the end of our switch. Switch. Keeping a nice long straight spine so keeping our center head to tail and switch and switch. Good. And last one to each side and switch. Sweet. Now let's bring, okay, I'm going to mirror you guys again. Let's bring the right arm up towards the sky and think about really lengthening out the crown of the head and side bending. So you can rest your weight on your left elbow if you need to, on your chair, um, reach through that top arm, take a few breaths here, just really expand this part of the body as we inhale and then bring it back and down and over to the other side, lengthen and then side bend kind of bringing the head, so you're looking at me sideways here, reach and breathe into that, that exposed rib cage there. And then bringing it back. So really using the breath to find space and expansion, especially between our ribs, the intercostals there, because we get, when we're sitting all day, we get stuck in those areas. Okay, this time we're gonna side bend over, so make sure that whichever arm you have up in the air, your right arm, I think most of you, that that shoulder, that arm is not rolling forward. We wanna keep the shoulder blade on the back. And even the other arm, we wanna keep that arm bone pulled back. We're gonna inhale and reach a little further with that hand and then exhale, pull the elbow down and towards the waist. So we're gonna inhale, reach, and then exhale, pull down and inhale, reach, and exhale, pull down, and again, reach, and pull, and reach, and pull. Let's do two more. You can imagine you're, pu you're pulling like a, a, a one of those bands, a TheraBand, and it's it's got some resistance, right? Okay, now let's reach and pull ourselves back up to sitting tall. Okay, all the way over to the other side. Reaching up, side bend over, organize that, that shoulder so it's not rolling forward. And inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Like you're pulling down a, uh, you're picking an apple and you're pulling it down to your waist and you're squeezing that shoulder blade into the back hip pocket. And then the shoulder blade comes away from the back hip pocket. So let that shoulder blade move. Let's do two more. And up and over to the sitting tall again. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead now and bring um, 
the right arm up, place it on the opposite knee, and you're gonna rotate around. See if you can reach that hand behind you. Um, if you're in a chair that without a back, try and keep your, your spine straight up and down. So if you're reaching so far that you have to lean, see if you can reach less, but stay um, your spine in alignment here. You can also grab the back of your chair, right? And give yourself a little assisted rotation. And let's just take a couple breaths, inhaling and exhale, really draw the ribs in. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, draw the ribs together and in. And then we'll de-rotate, okay? So we're trying to find some movement from the, from the waist, really. So bringing that um, opposite arm over to the opposite leg, and then we're gonna rotate around. So if you really can reach with that hand, then it gives, there's a little more um, muscle going into it, reaching with that hand behind you, reaching the crown of the head to the ceiling. But you can also, again, like I said, place your hand on the back of your chair and give yourself a little more movement. And let's take a breath and use that deep exhale. Get all the air out. Inhale fully. And deep exhale. And one more time. And nice, and bringing yourself back around to center. Beauteous. Okay, let's now, um, let's go ahead and do a little cross the body motion. Um, we're gonna bring your, let's bring your left hand to your, um, kind of just up in, let's actually bring it out to a, almost like, um, like this would be a goalpost, so like half of a goalpost, okay? Or at half of a goalpost. Squeeze that shoulder blade, feel the head of the humeral bone really moved back so it's set in the, the joint as best possible. Look, take a look at the hand. We're gonna inhale, press across the body, and then exhale, pull that shoulder blade back to where it started. Okay, inhale, watch the hand, and exhale, pull it back. Now I'm gonna watch you guys, see what you're, good, so keep your eyes on that hand. And when you pull the arm back, really squeeze that shoulder blade and feel the head of the arm bone um, come back into the, um, the shoulder socket. Okay, one more. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Nice. Eyes on the hand. Beauteous. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to your right hand. All right, same thing. You're going to take a look at that hand and then press across the body and then back and then press across the body and back. Good. Eyes following that hand and back. Eyes following that hand and back. And again, let's do one more. We're gonna switch over to the other hand again and go up as high as you can into the corner of the room. And you can rotate the rib cage a little bit. Lean forward in your chair and reach for the sky and then come in back. So inhale, reach and coming back. Inhale, reach and coming back. And all the way up, pull that shoulder blade back and down. And nice. And over to the other side. Awesome. So we're going to reach up to the other, the opposite corner of the room. Eyes on the hand here. Reach, reaching for the sky and then pulling the sky back into your body here, reach and reach and reach. And one more time, reach. Nice, nice work. So let's do um, one, uh, another, one more little, um, 
uh, eye following the hand movement. So now the hand is gonna be down, like it's reaching towards the floor. And then we're gonna reach up with a straight arm and then straight arm back down. So we're gonna reach and down and reach and down and reach and down. And nice, so keeping the arms straight if you can and pulling down as if you're pulling against, and I like to pull the back of the hand behind so that the palm is facing forward. And good. And down, and let's go ahead and switch sides. So same thing that you're starting with the palm facing forward, reaching down, and then reach up and then down a diagonal. Let your eyes follow the hand. Eyes follow the hand. Good. And imagine you're, pull, as you pull it down, you're pulling against some resistance, okay? So you're not just letting it drop. One more time. Cool. All right, let's bring our arms um, right so that the palms are down towards the floor and um, your thumbs maybe are at about arm, uh, armpit level and squeeze those shoulder blades together here. So we're just gonna keep the, the right shoulder blades stable and the right, the right arm stable and we're gonna reach out. As a matter of fact, let's punch and then we're gonna pull back. And then you're gonna stabilize the left side and you're gonna punch and pull back. So keeping that opposite side stable is what we're really looking for. Reach and pull back, reach and punch and punch and punch. Elbow kind of pulls back and wide, good. Now let's go ahead and come back to center here. If you need to, let's let those arms kind of shake out a little bit there. Yeah. And then we'll um, come back to center. And if we can do both at the same time, we will. Not everyone will be, some of us might just go this far. And if you can take it out all the way, then do it. But what I would like you to focus on is um, keeping wide across your chest as you do this, okay? So I'm just gonna go that far because that's as far as I can go before I start to compensate. So we're gonna, we're gonna inhale as we press out, exhale and pull back. Nice. And let me see you guys do one more. Good. Try and keep the elbows as high as possible when you do these. Go ahead and do a couple more. And good. Okay. Coming on back to center. Let's, um, let's bring our elbows so that they're um, 90 degree angle and in close to our waist and chest lifted open across the collarbones. We're gonna inhale, palms up, I should say first, like we're holding a tray and we're gonna open the door and then close. And then open and close. Inhale, you can open, exhale, close. One more open with our hands in this position. And then we're gonna flip the palms facing each other. So open, like we're pressing against some resistance. Okay, press against some resistance and then control that resistance back. Press against resistance, control back. And last one, control back. And then we're gonna flip our palms down. Okay, so palms down and open up and close and open and 
close. And one more time, open and close. I'm sorry, let's do two more. Open and open. Nice. Get those little external rotation movements going on there. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and do a little um, kind of a breaststroke movement. I'm gonna bring my head back into vision here. So we're gonna bring, inhale, bring that left arm up first and then slide the hand like you're cutting your body in half front to back if you can and then press down like you're pushing water away from you. So we're gonna sweep the arm up and then exhale, press down and away. Inhale, reach as far away from you as you can. And exhale, press down and away. And up, and then down and away. And up, and down and away. And then this time, let's take it up, side bend over, and just do a couple in our side bend here. Down and away. Inhale, up, and down and away. Now we're going to reverse the motion. So if you can stay in the side bend, do so, or you can come back to just being straight spine. So I'll let you guys choose. I'm gonna be in the side bend. And so reversed motion, dragging that, that thumb up, reach the elbow out, and then sweep it around. Good, drag the thumb, reach the elbow wide and down. Nice, last one here. And good, and bring ourselves up to sitting here again. So let's bring the right arm up and we'll start in our vertical spine, press the water away here. Inhale, up, reaching, elbows trying to stretch out wide when we get to this little bent place, bent and elbow wide and press that water away. Imagine what it feels like to be swimming in the ocean. Let's come up and side bend over if you're comfortable with that. You can stay in your vertical spine if not. And we'll do a few here. Yes. This just opens up our ribs more when we're in that side bend, which I personally can never get enough of. Feels like I never have gotten enough of it. Okay, now let's reverse. I'm gonna drag that thumb up and reach and sweep the water down around this way. And reach. And pull it down and one more here. And bring ourselves up to sitting here again. Nice. Since we're doing the breaststroke, let's turn around now and do just a little backstroke. So I'm going to bring that left arm up and you can rotate the ribs here if you want. And let's just do one arm at a time here to start with. So you can just focus on trying to keep a straight spine. So if you are rotating the ribs, then still think about trying to keep your spine as vertical as possible and your head on top of your spine. And good, and let's go over to the other arm for about eight here. So nice. I'm gonna watch you guys do a few here. So, and if you're not turning your rib cage, then you will have less range of motion and that's totally fine, okay? Okay, now let's do a little just alternating. So we're gonna inhale, one arm up and around, and then the other arm up and around and up and around and see maybe if you can find a rhythm and have fun with it really. Pretend you're in the water. Yes, and you're having to bring that arm up out of the water and then sweep against the resistance of the water. Nice, nice. And there's one more to each direction here. And beautiful. Well, let's just do a quick little work with our hands a little bit. So let's um, 
start with um, our, our hands in a fist here and kind of um, the fist pulled in towards our shoulders. And then we're gonna extend the fingers out. So really open up the hand, extension as much as you can, and then pull back into the, the chest, into the shoulders. Inhale, exhale. One more. And great, you can do a couple little wrist circles here. And really be mindful about, so don't just shake those wrists around, but really be mindful about rotating that wrist joint and the fingers get to go along too. And that, my dears, is how we'll finish. I'm so glad to see so many people here. Today it was fun to see. There's a couple of faces that 